He looked over at the alarm clock ticking away by the chest of drawers. Good God, he thought. It was half past six, and the hands were going quietly on. It was past the half hour, already nearly quarter two. Could the alarm have failed to ring? One saw from the bed that it was properly set for four o'clock. Certainly it had rung. Yes, but was it possible to sleep through that noise which made the furniture shake? Now it's true he hadn't slept quietly, but evidently he'd slept all the more deeply. Still, what should he do now? The next train left at seven o'clock. To catch that one, he would have to go in a mad rush.